falafel wraps, falafel platters, one or the other. We don't know what it's called, but it's coming up next. Stick around. Things are happening. I can't control them. They're out of my control. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had some chickpeas soaking in water overnight. A while. So like at least eight, 12 hours or something. I'm gonna drain them out. I'm gonna rinse them. And pick out any of them that look kind of gross. Like, got some spots on them like that one. I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it doesn't look good to me. I'm just gonna drain them off. And these are because you're rehydrated, yeah. right? That's the one I was gonna get rid of. That's yeah, that's kind of nasty. All right. Then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put that aside, grab some paper towels, or a towel, tea towel, whatever you wanna use, and kind of just dry, try to dry them as best you can. And not spill them all over yourself. <laughs> There you go, that's pretty good. All right, just see, it's a big, good amount of water that came off. Mm -hmm. Then we're just gonna continue on with the rest of the recipe, which we will continue downstairs. Okay. So what we're gonna do to get started is, this is all gonna go in a food processor. You could do a blender too, but a food processor works a little better. These blenders are kind of, they're not as big an area, you know? It's kind of hard to get it all blended up. You don't want to blend it super fine, we're just trying to get it chunky. So we're gonna dump my chickpeas in here. Need a little bit of onion. You could use green onions as well, but I'm just gonna use regular onion. That's what I got. We're gonna use probably about like just a little bit of onion, not a lot, maybe like a quarter, quarter of a smaller onion or something. This is a little more, I think, but yeah, whatever. It's my falafel, I'll make it how I wanna make it. Just chuck it in there. And uh, a couple cloves of garlic. I'm gonna put three or four of these because they're tiny. That's the little bad part on there. Cut that off. Okay. Now I need some cilantro and parsley. Let's start with parsley. Need about a cup of this. So, let's say about that much. Just rough. You don't even have to cut it up a lot. Put it in the food processor. Wait, oh, really? Okay. Well, I'm just going to do this because I don't know. I just yeah, it's going to do it. Yeah, I forgot about that. This cuts, the, this cuts down really small cilantro. It smells good, I can smell it. Need a teaspoon of cumin. And a half teaspoon of coriander powder. Well, that's a little more, but that's all right. Coriander smells awesome, it's like really sweet. Oh, well there's a clove I didn't put in there. Let's go ahead and put that in there. A clove of garlic? Oh, I'll just cut oh. that out. I forgot to put that one in there. That's okay. And I'm going to put a little cayenne. This is optional. Not everyone does this. So. Oh, it smells like full off right? No, that might be spicy. <laughs> yeah, I like spicy. All right. Two teaspoons of salt. It's about a teaspoon. I usually do this in my hand, but you know. Make this one a little bigger the last one, wasn't it? Make them salty. And that's it. I just gotta blend it all up. Okay. How do you do this one? Just like yeah. that? It's working pretty well. I'm gonna check it. Yeah, it needs a little more. I'm gonna just push it, push some of the stuff down in there. So, so you don't have to put any water or anything else? No, because they, they were soaking. They already got a little bit of water in them. Uh -huh. It should work because there's uh, water from in the beans and there's uh, water in the herbs and the onion and stuff. We're going to go a little more than this. This might be... I might put a little flour in it because I don't know if this will come together okay. super well. Just a That's probably good. It's probably like three quarters of a tablespoon, so like two teaspoons, two and a half teaspoons or so. Just mix that in. It doesn't mix up very well in there. All right. Let's go ahead and dump it in our bowl. Mm. 
and dump my, my cutter in there too. Mm -hmm. Take it out. It looks pretty uh, coarse and stuff, but that's okay. We're gonna. It looks like it may not really stick together a whole lot, but it's all right. We're gonna put it in the fridge, and all the stuff will get absorbed and it'll work out. Or if it doesn't, we'll take it out and add a bunch of flour to it until it comes together, and then we'll we'll make do. Because flour will definitely help it bind. Is that kind of what we're looking for? Yeah. From okay. Based off what I was looking up, that's what it looked like. <laughs> okay. And then I was gonna let, I was just gonna stir it in here because I put that flour. Oh, it in. smells like it smells good. I had that flour that I mixed in, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it didn't really spin around, so I was just mixing it by hand a little bit. Okay. And that's it. Put that in the fridge for like 15, 30 minutes, an hour, however much time you can wait. Because the more you wait, the more the flavors will get mixed in, and the more it'll like combine and like stick to itself. Okay. Pro tip, go to the store. If they have all the herbs beside each other, you can't really tell what's what. Sometimes parsley kind of looks like cilantro. Just, just smell it. Parsley smells like grass. Cilantro smells like... Mexican food, I guess. <laughs> Smells like cilantro. Let's get started on our sauce for our falafel. What is it? Is it like tahini sauce? Tahini sauce. So it's like a roasted sesame seed sauce with garlic and lemon uh -huh. juice. and It's really good. And first you gotta start with tahini. Yep. I've never seen this kind that comes in a squeeze bottle. It's but awesome This though. is so much easier than the other stuff. Yeah. Most of the other brands you'll find, it's like an orange jar. It's like a can with a plastic lid. I forgot the name of the brand. It's really popular. It's a pain in the butt to get that out there because there's like a thick layer of sesame oil on top. Yeah. And you gotta like mix it up. It's like it's like natural peanut butter basically. Yeah, that's what it is. It's it a smells like but they butter. barely give you any room in that jar to stir it. Yeah. So it's a real pain. So, so I found this one. I think it costs more to get the squeeze bottle, but I, I like it better because it's easy. It comes with a squeeze bottle and it's shakeable. Like yeah. you can't really shake a giant little jar. Like it doesn't <laughs> there's like no space. There's a big gap in the top of this so it combines. I'm gonna use about a quarter cup. No, let's do a half cup. No, we're going to do a quarter cup. This comes out really slow. <laughs> That's good enough. We need a cup, like, clove or two of garlic. I'm going to do, do two. I like everything really garlicky. We're going to use a... You can do this in a food processor. It'll actually make this a lot easier to mix up. But we just use our food processor, and I don't want to go clean it out just to make it just to do this. So I'm going to use a press to mince it. Cause all you, it just blends up the garlic if you do it in a press. And you're gonna mix it, we're gonna mix it with lemon juice and water and salt. And that just makes it really easy. You don't have to do anything. You just throw it on there. I'm gonna squeeze, need about an eighth of a cup of this, which is like very little. Squeeze it into my hand so I can catch the seeds. This is a juicy lemon. It's a tasty beverage. I'm not really measuring it. If I put too much of this and it's really watery, add a little bit more tahini. You know. I'll have a Samuel Jackson. <laughs> It'll get you drunk. My <laughs> mm -hmm. said skit. Ain't you never seen that in my movies? <laughs> I would need about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I just had juice. That was a good one. <laughs> okay. All right, about a quarter teaspoon of this. Salt. What is it? So a quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, I got and, it. Uh, a little sprinkle of cumin. You don't need a lot. You need like an eighth teaspoon. Oh, this has cumin too, huh? Just a little bit. This is optional. You don't have to use this, but I, I say a little bit, and as I dump, watch me dump like a whole crap load. That's probably you need about an eighth a cup of water, which I don't really have anything to measure this with, and I have a whole cup because I wasn't sure <laughs> what you're making. It's okay. He's been drinking that lady. Oh yeah, uh, yeah the old drinking cup. I cut my fingernails earlier, and I got lemon juice all over my fingernails. Oh I no! Cut, I cut it too short. It's starting to hurt. Oh. All right, you need about, oh, I was supposed to do an eighth cup. Oh, that is an eighth cup. Perfect. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, reverse mixes. Just mix it up. I might have to put a little more tahini. I might have to put too much water. Yeah, it's a little too much water. I put a little too much water because I'm stupid. So just squeeze just a little bit. If it looks like this, where it's really watery, yeah. which is, a, it'll taste fine, but I guess I just a squeeze or two more of this in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that looks fun. Yeah, there you go. See? Oh, that feels yeah. pretty good, yeah. If I would, I don't think I had to add the rest of that. It just wasn't emulsified yet. So we gotta, you gotta stir it pretty good. And then yeah. Kind of good, huh? That's pretty good, right? God, my thumb. That lemon is spicy. Today. <laughs> I need to clip my finger oh out my a little bit. He's in here torturing himself. Alright, that's done. That's basically it. I'm gonna give it a taste. Make sure. Oh yeah. Right on. 
and you can just put this in the fridge as well. All right, let's get started on this little uh, topping side salad for uh, our falafel. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my tomatoes. These are pretty ripe. Those look pretty good. How about some pretty ripe ones? Got the core. That looks like some complicated knife skill we got going on. I don't, know why, I don't know why I chose to cut it that way, but I did. <laughs> I usually just cut the whole top off. It's a freaking juicy tomato. So we're doing just one big tomato, one me medium-ish sized tomato. So I'm just going to put that aside. Right. I need about, since I'm half in this. So probably, a cucumber or, yeah, or the other cucumber. one? Cucumber. Right. Probably about a quarter of a cucumber. Since we're quarter, we're half in the recipe. I think I'd use about half for this. Gonna slice it up in the chunks the best I can if it doesn't stick to my knife. Quarter of a cucumber, one medium sized tomato. See, okay. they're about equal in quantity, right? Proportions. And that's it in relation to how big my hand is, which is basically <laughs> just like the whole screen. That is not a good like analogy. Like, yeah, that's how big my hand is. Yeah, it's just one like, How big is his hand? Just one thumb. I don't know. It's like, it depends on how close it is to the lens. You we're gonna, know what I'm saying? We're going to put some parsley in it now. <laughs> I don't really know what we're making today. Just cut this up, it had to be perfect. Um, smallish, just get it. This is probably about a quarter cup or so of parsley. All right. Now we're gonna sprinkle some salt on it. I don't know how much, we measured in my hand. Use that as a measurement. Probably about a quarter to half a teaspoon. I got way too much. Probably about a quarter teaspoon, we'll say. Should have did that last, but it's all right. I'm gonna put a little bit of onion in it. And you can cut this up big or small. I'm gonna do like a kind of a fine chop, not really a mince, because I want some texture. That's just a little bit, that's probably like eighth of a cup of onion if you're gonna measure it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit of lemon in here now. It's my rest of my lemon for beer earlier. What are you doing with your hand there? I'm catching the seeds. Ah. Because I'll have to fish them out of here. You could, oh, I missed one. Look at that. Because it was over here on the side. Now, I'm going to pour just a little bit of olive oil in it. And that is essentially done. You can just set that in the fridge and leave the side too. It's probably been about 30 minutes on this, I'd say. 15 or 30. You can see it's like kind of coming together yeah, a, a little better. A little better. We got our little pan we're going to fry in. We just, we we're just like you. Frying these. Frying these. Frying these puppies. I'm just going to put it like a. Not a lot of oil, maybe like a quarter cup, quarter inch of oil. I'm not going to deep fry them as I pour a lot of oil in there. So uh, season two of OMG Meals is uh, the fries. It's going to the fryer. The fry. <laughs> you know what would be great? Just deep fry. Season two. <laughs> yeah, all, all fry. <laughs> I'm going to get that heated up. It'll take a little while, so. Five. It'll take a while to heat up. All right. While we're over here. While we wait, let's go ahead and make some falafel. With my left hand, I've moved, I've moved the chocolate chip cookie with my right hand. What? Anyway, aviator. Oh. I need to watch the commentary. All right. Oh, it sounds a little mushy. Yeah, but squishy sounds, yeah. But it comes together. It looks a little loose, but once it like fries, it'll develop a crust and just lightly flip it, it should stay together. So you're using your hands, are you trying to make a triangular shape thing? I'm trying to just pack ball? it. I'm just trying to pack it. Just into whatever shape? Yeah, yeah like more of a ball. Okay. Let it will heat up. We're gonna try to fry these first without adding additional flour. I'm just gonna drop a little bit of the falafel mixture that fell off. Looks like it's frying to me, see that? A little bit. Oh yeah, they are frying. So, see you now. okay. I'm gonna go ahead and throw our first ball in there. Be be extra careful. Maybe it's not hot enough. Yeah, <laughs> probably could be a little bit hotter. Actually, you can set this to what temperature I want it to be. If that, if I didn't, break if that the works, thing. Uh, I put it in a three sixty. Yeah, I, I forgot you can do that. Yeah, there you go. Let's do it now. Should I check on it? No, it's nowhere near brown yet. They're sticking together. It looks like. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some more. Okay. I'm gonna pack them like I've been doing. Mm. I think you hear the juice coming out. Yeah. But I think you want to do that. If you have extra juice come out, just let it drip back in and we'll just keep squeezing it out. You know what I mean? Like if it drips back down in here, 
It's fine. Because we want them to stay together. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze with both hands like that until you get it to basically come together as a ball. Some of it will fall off, but that's all right. So for future reference, we had to set it at, well, it's, it says 390, but I think you set it at 405, right? No, I turned it down. Okay. You want 375 or 350, but this thing doesn't heat up properly, so. There's your leftover stuff. Uh, I wouldn't eat that raw, because yeah. the chickpeas aren't cooked, and they can, they, make, they can make you sick. Don't eat that. Just throw it away. That one looks good. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think this one's ready. You can see the bubbles are a lot smaller than that one. And yeah. So and you can kind of see they're starting to brown. Yeah, that's what you want. That's what you want. Now I know. Now I know how to fry. This took me <laughs> seven episodes. I don't. I don't ever fry. That's true. I'm gonna flip this one. You think this one's good? Can you tell? You can see better than I can. Uh, that's yeah. Eh, that could go a little longer. I'll. I'll come back. I'll come back to you. I'll Pretty come back sure. for you. I'm taking this one out. Okay. This one kind of got a little split in it because it was the first one, and then we flipped it around, moved it around too much, but it's gonna be delicious. I think they're going Here, pretty let's well. Try this. Well, that technique. There you go. That's, that's probably it's probably the safest way to do it without burning yourself. So slide it off the spoon. Yeah. Oh, we got a little bit of stickage right here. That one's good. But you know, stuff that's keep all those little ones for me, and I'll just eat them by themselves. I'm scooping out. It's like the crispies that you get at Long John Silver's. It's the best part. If you slide it underneath it and you feel a little resistance, uh, don't flip it because it's stuck. Okay. It's not ready to go. It's still, it'll release itself. We're just going to keep frying them until the they look pretty brown on all the sides. And they should be cooked. Alright, so we're going to fry up, we're going to fry up these other few, few we got right here. Well, I'll try to put my own, you're going to melt the, the entire cord. And, uh, we'll be right back. Alright, as you can see, we've got a lot of falafels fried up. They came out pretty well, even the one that we threw in there that was, like, fell apart when I threw it in there, I just kind of made it work. You just got to be careful and roll them as all, well, and they'll stay together. Go ahead and take these out. I think I got my technique down for falafels. Definitely use like a slotted spoon or a spoon of some kind. And don't use tongs because tongs, it'll just like smush it together and fall apart. Yeah. Go ahead and take out our last one. We got some stuff that fell off of them. You see in the pan, that's all right. That's not even enough to make like a eighth of a tenth of one of those falafels. So that's good to go. These are done. everybody we're back in the lab which we haven't been in the whole time <laughs> uh we're doing we're getting ready to eat this eat this stuff we got we got falafels which we fried up i don't fry it up and we got the tahini sauce and some cucumber tomato Turkish salad, salad or I don't know what whatever it's just here. like you know Traditional salad with uh, parsley. And then we got hummus. So I, I just bought hummus because yeah. I didn't want to dirty up any more stuff. <laughs> we didn't make hummus today, but one of these days we're going to make some amazing hummus that I make all the time. All right, he's already got I already one. got mine going. We're going to get his oh, going. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we got to... Gonna... Jesus Christ, it's all greasy. Jason Bourne. All right, we're going to get our pack Actually, going. you can describe anything that we do with being greasy. If you can yeah. go and throw it in there if you want. All right, it's pretty warm. We're going to warm up his tortilla. This you know, makes I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to wash my hands. All right. There's a little bit of steam coming out and starting to puff up a little bit. You can go ahead and flip it if you want. Just grab one of the sides and flip it. Not like that. You might tear it. Oh. You just you were like, just do it however you want. It's well, like not that. Well, 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 if you pinch it like all together, you might tear it. Just like grab you it. You can do it any way you want. No, just no, not no, the way you just no, did. See what I just did? No, you like went there. You're like a little kid trying to like. It's like a little kid just trying to grab something. <laughs> no, you just like grab it. I'm like, okay. Oh my so, gosh. Alright, now it's puffing up. You can take it. Alright, so what am I... Wait, you know, we didn't crack Slight. open any cold ones. Well, well, that's going to take a minute. So, that's hot. So, right. we got a we got a drink today. We're going to share it because he doesn't really want a whole lot of it. I mean... What is it? We got a boiling... Black cherry. Oh, snap. I think I got the wrong one. That I like the... Started. Yeah, I like the birch one. They but this one's they good. They didn't have that one. This is what I usually do. You put that I put hummus there. first, right. usually, and spread it. Yeah. Because it's kind of like a, it's our mayonnaise of this. Actually, this is like our Actually, mayonnaise. Actually, we need some mayonnaise in here. If you, if you could. Are we going to Holland today? All right, we got a couple of these. Put as many as you want. I put three, so you can put two. I want to make a, another one. Probably. Okay. So, and then, 
You can, you can do top tahini yeah. or you can do the tomato stuff. Yeah, I did tahini afterwards, but you can do it how you want to do it. Well, the tahini are, you sure? kind of, the tahini, are you sure? The tahini kind of thickened up a little bit because it's right. been in the fridge. Yeah, I know it did a lot since we made it. If, it's, if it. it's too thick, if it's, it's not really oh, coming off, finger. Put, a, put a little water in it and stir it up. Yeah, well, oh, I forgot to smash and it. And then the, what I did is I I, pin, I grabbed the sides, fold. Jeez. You don't yeah. have to. Yeah, like just roll it. That. Yeah, there you go. You always got to smash it. At the, it helps. At the old falafel shops. And that's what I do. Oh, and then yeah. fold one side over. And then there we go. Got a little burrito action going on. Yeah, so like, like an open-ended burrito kind of. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go ahead. All right, let's do it. I wasn't sure about the way you recall tortilla, but man. It works with it, right? That's it's just like good. a flatbread. And when it's warm and stuff, it's like perfect. Mine's mm. been sitting here for like 10 minutes, so it's mm. cold. But mm. Something else you could do I with this. A lot of a lot you, could put it, you could put it with lettuce instead of a tortilla or a flatbread. Mm. Normally, I mean, we would get pita, right? We'd have pita, and you put it in the pita pocket. But this is like, if you don't have pita around you, which when growing up, I don't think we ever had pita. Mm. Those were awful. Those are the best ones I've had in a really long time. They're really good. This is so good. And tomato and cucumber, like salad. It's and it's like a burrito. Mm -hmm. The middle, middle, Mediterranean meze burrito. Yep. Peel off or something? Salad is really good too. I thought that would be pretty good. That'd be good mm -hmm. on its own. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Actually, you can eat them all on their own. That's like what they're kind of for. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep saying meze. Yeah, meze. Tell them what meze is. You said it was like a. It's like a appetizer platter in of Middle Eastern dishes normally. So. Right. All the stuff is like, other than this sauce, which is like a condiment, mm. these other things are things you can eat on, like it's appetizers. It's got a little spice to it. I put a decent amount of cayenne and I can taste it. Because mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. one of them, like the first one we did, it was mm -hmm. kind of, it was like our test one. I, ate, yep. I asked, gave him a little piece. He took like the tiniest baby mm -hmm. piece. I was like, I'm just going to eat. We're going to eat this. And I was like, I took a bite, like a chunk out of it. And then he went upstairs to get something and I ate the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. and, and I was like, oh yeah, I ate the whole thing. So, but I can taste all the, there's a, it's a little kaya and it's pretty good, mm. like a little spice. There you go. This is, this mm. is the best, I think this mm. is the, that, the best thing that you can eat, we've made this season, I think. The fry bread was good, but like, this is. I don't think you've made anything that can eat but the fry bread this season. It's been that's true. chicken, chicken thing. That's what I said, that's the best thing we made this season. Because <laughs> the fry bread was good, but like, I don't like eat desserts a whole lot. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to try it out. Mm -hmm. This, this is this is just delicious. I wasn't sure about the non-pita bread, but man, I like it more than pita bread. I think well, it's because it's like it's like a hybrid. It's like a Tex-Mix, a Tex-Mex like falafel wrap. Where did this come from? Why are we making this today? It's a Middle Eastern dish, and. They usually always have it at these kebab places. Greek, at least on, in Greek, at least mm. on the East Coast or in the U.S., they always have falafel. It's like a yeah. vegetarian thing, and it's like this filling is a kebab. Like it's mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a deep, it's a deep fried. I just wanted a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. It's just like delicious fried fritter with like tons of herbs and seasoning I don't know. yeah it's just like if you've never had one you really need to try it it's not because i think you'll really like i think you'll really like it so i missed it i was i was thinking about the kid in the kebab well it's you like the it? origin and like why i wanted to do oh, it I always yeah. why together. you want to make it because you like it yeah it's like a thing i've had of uh, years Greek places, Middle Eastern places, mm. they always have it. They it's, always have fries. They always have, fr it's good with fries too. Man, I feel you ripped wanna, off. Where's the fries at? Yo. Did you want to keep frying stuff down here for like another <laughs> hour? <laughs> yeah, I said, dude. Yo. We're just going to install a deep yo fryer, food. like right there. Yeah. You're right beside the burrito maker. <laughs> we're going right to have a whole set of like commercial appliances just for like super thick, dedicated things like a fryer. Yeah. We're going to have like a tandoori yeah. oven right know, here. Yeah, no, I'm all about the tandoori oven. And then I, and then right beside that, I want a salamander so we can make Mexican dishes. That's that's why I want to make mm. it. It's just, it where it's from. It's, you know, it's a delicious thing that's from the Middle East that people oh, eat all so over the world. Good. How hard is this to make? The hardest thing when you fry these or form them, squeeze them, you'll see like, that juice come out like I had. And then, like, if it stays together pretty well and you can move it around your hands, lay it into the oil with the spoon, like I was doing, kind of, if you have one. 
and then kind of let it just roll into the pan, like slightly go into the pan and let it sit and then watch for the bubbles around it. And you'll start to see through the oil that it'll start, you'll start to see some brown on the edges. If you see that and the bubbles are like smaller than when you just put it in there, yeah. try to like put your little spoon underneath it and try to roll it. Yeah. If you feel like it's, it just moves and there's, it's freely moving, then it's ready to roll over. But if it's like not resisting to move, don't flip it. Because don't try to do any more because you'll rip it apart and it'll just fall apart. That actually, that's probably a medium. Then, yeah. it's, that's the hardest yeah. thing with this. Substitutions. I'd Human. say that that's probably that's the good. one thing that you might have a hard time getting is tahini, depending on where you live. I've seen it at Walmart international sections. Yeah. They'll have it. There's like a, a brand that's... It's got a little do with a beard on it, right? It's, like, it's, like, it's like orange and like purple or something. I don't know what it's called. And yeah. it's a can. Yeah. It's very popular brand. Like it, I've seen it like everywhere. If you can't find it, you can also find it at, if you have an Asian grocery store. They'll have some form of it. There's a, Chinese, there's a Chinese version of it. It's not exactly the same, but it works. The hummus, actually, if you don't have this, the hummus is actually yeah, like a really good. It. Yeah, it's true. You can find hummus basically everywhere. That is a really good thing is like a sauce. It's kind of thick, but it's like a good Walmart thing. makes this everywhere. Yeah, everybody has that. I think that literally was all the substitutions. Um, Unless you can think. Well, you can, you can get real pita. Yeah. Um, that's, like a, that's like a, yeah. You could use canned chickpeas instead. Oh, yeah. But... When you do that, do the same thing like we did, drain them and wash them, mm. and then dry them, and then you can put them in the food processor, mm. and they should, they'll work, but I think they might be a little more wet, than, they'll be a little more mushy than what we had, because ours weren't cooked, those chickpeas weren't cooked when we blended it all up, and pushed them together, they got cooked when they were fried. Oh, so it'll, it'll make them more mushy. Yeah, you, you'll probably have to add a little more flour to it, oh. or chickpea flour, or something to keep it, to stick together. Slippery day, come on down. Slip slide all the way across. <laughs> I'm getting a running start and I'm like, Phew. slippery day, come that's on what down. We're doing. That's what we're doing with our oil. We're making a slip and slide in the backyard. Just throwing yeah. oil, coating oh, oil. The whole body's gonna be covered in pimples. We got, we, got, we got a kiddie pool full of oil that we're just gonna land into. <laughs> and it's like warm, so it's all, it feels all good. Like we're just a little falafel ball rolling into the fryer. <laughs> Oh yeah, we couldn't handle not having burritos, even though we're making miniature. <laughs> we we can't escape Tex Mex. Yeah. <laughs> Our cost, I'd say, under under like five, six dollars. It makes a bunch of crumbs. Probably for the whole everything, probably under five or six bucks. Serving size, I'd say probably about six. We get about six servings out of that because we both ate two, about two portions. Yeah. Uh, we'll say six. We'll say six portions yeah. of the falafel right. yeah. and stuff. But these other things, we'll you probably that, you probably yeah. want to double these from what we made. We'll, we'll put the it. we'll put the right proportion in that. We'll double in our recipe. Yeah. Uh, would you change anything next time? I don't know. That was like really really good. So for like a falafel wrap, whatever you're calling yeah. this, it wrap, was freaking. Wrap, wraps I mean, a lot. I guess I would make my own hummus, but I I gotta like. I gotta get that down. I'm not done. Really, no, I'll have to show it. you my special one that I stole from that his, one lady. His like quick way to do it is really good. So no, you wouldn't change anything. I think it was really good. Other Except than for make your own hummus. Maybe make my own hummus. You could. You I didn't guess, mess up. No, they came out really well. Like, so I don't think there's anything to change. No, they're good. Hey, hey, yeah. Did you like this video? Maybe not. Well, if you didn't, you know, whatever. But if you did. Make sure you check out one of our other videos. I mean, we got we got stuff back here. These other ones aren't ours. We stole those. But uh, we got we got other ones. We got uh, lots of text mix that you haven't noticed. Uh, we got text mix here on this one too. But we got text mix and we've got Asian videos from all over Asia. Well, now we have a Native American dish, which is just interesting because I didn't think we'd do Native American, but we have Native American now. We have all kinds of Southern American dishes. Yep. If you like your pizza to be substantial. Check ours out. So this show is actually called OMG Meals. This is our recipe show. So if you like that, go check those out. And we also have our new show, which we do called Non News. And then we have a review show. We haven't really reviewed anything because everything's like shut down. It's kind of hard to get stuff. Uh, yeah. Check our stuff out. But then also, if you like this, and maybe you maybe you are using your iPad in the kitchen or whatever, you don't necessarily want to watch the whole video. Go to our website at fooddudes.tv, and uh, we'll put the link right here. Food f o o d d o o d z dot tv. Or just food dudes as you would normally spell it and 
you can get there too, .tv. We got the printed out recipes on there with all the steps, you know, stepped out. Pictures. Pictures. Yeah, he takes all the pictures and like puts them in there and types it all out and you can follow along, check stuff off. Check it out, yep. We got it's a conver uh, converter thing on there. Scale for, it up scale and down. it up and down. And it, works, it works really well. It looks really great. It's fast. Watch some other stuff and please like, subscribe, and share this to other people because YouTube doesn't want us to get big. They're trying to keep us back. And it's a secret. And we don't want anybody else to know. But like and subscribe and tell everybody else. We're getting out of here. Take her easy, dudes. On OMG Meals. We didn't do that once this episode. I didn't put it at the end because we had the OMG credits. OMG Meals. We had the credits over it. OMG Meals. OMG Meals. OMG Meals. I'm not OMG doing meals. that over and over. I'm not. I'm not. It's not easy to put up over G Mills. OMG Mills. It's not like a pre made graphic. OMG Mills! They're trying to keep us back! They're trying to hold us back! You gotta go out there and you gotta tell everybody you know about it, alright? Spread the word! Because the food dudes are coming to town! You gotta do another one? Woo! Oh, you're, you're in like